What's up guys, before I tell you this great news, um, I want to drink first because my throat is going to be rough. So, mm. Capri Sun. Yeah, I kid you, so deal with it. The greatest thing that ever happened to me. Um, let me tell you a story first. Um, this past Monday, I believe, this news came out. Um, I was doing my homework. Um, really, I was doing my homework because I've been busy not watching the movies. Um, then my friend called me, my very good friend, my very nice buddy to me. Um, talk about, you know, this news. I was like, no. Are you joking? Now check to Marvel.com, the official Marvel website. I checked it and it apparently is very true. And today's topic is Sony brings Marvel Studios into Amazing World of Spider-Man means, means Spider-Man is officially joined the Marvel Cinematic Universe with... <laughs> yes! Shut up and take my money. Um, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this for years. Um, since the first movie came out, um, I've been wanting um Spider-Man to join the Avengers team because apparently they're gonna reboot it again. Which sucks. In my opinion, that sucks. Um, that just all over. But apparently, Andrew Garfield is no longer Spider-Man anymore. Which is sad. Um, he was a good Peter Parker to me. My bad. I just ate a pizza. Um. Well, it's been now. I mean, wow. Kevin Feige and the producer of on Sony, um, Emmy something, Emmy Pascal, who is a producer in Sony, um, are teaming up. With they have a deal. They made a deal that some Spider-Man now officially joining Marvel Cinematic Universe, which I'm excited for. And um, that tells me that. Now Spider-Man is going to be in, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe movie and a brand new movie of solo film of Spider-Man which they're going to be rebooted. Um, I don't know which Spider-Man is going to be appeared on but I'm hoping to see an after credit scene on Avengers Age of Ultron or a little cameo in Captain America Civil War. Um, and then a Spider-Man solo film. Um, yeah, are you with me? Yeah. Um, the, the the new solo Spider-Man movie um coming out July 28, 2017. That's the original date for Thor Ragnarok. That means Thor Ragnarok is pushed to I believe November 2nd, 20 No, 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 that's wrong. That's wrong. November 22nd, 20 I was wrong. November 3rd, 2015. So, so that's Thor Ragnarok. Um and most Marvel movies push back, such as Captain Marvel, um, Black Panther, Inhumans, and Thor Grand Rock. Avengers Infinity War is still the same date in May. Um, and I will tell you this, Marvel. If you're going to reboot a new Spider-Man with a new cast, just do not tell the origin story again. I mean, we know the origin story when Peter Parker um, how, he, how he became Spider-Man and how Uncle Ben dies. We know that. Just, just get it into the movie. Um, I remember, I remember, I remember Kevin Feige said no more origin story on Phase Three, which I'm hoping Spider-Man not gonna get an origin story because in the in the Sam Raimi's and the the Amazing Spider-Man they showed the origin story. Um, we know the origin story. We don't need to see origin story again. And I'm pretty. Freaking happy about Spider-Man joining the Avengers team, which is, I know Spider-Man gonna be on Avengers Infinity War Part One, Part Two, which I'm now I'm very excited for. If you read the Civil War storyline, um, the comic books, um, I'm a huge fan of that storyline. One of my favorite storylines in the comic book universe. Um, Spider-Man is the most pitiful, important, important part in the Civil War. Who he's the only Marvel superhero who has his own secret identity. And then show his secret identity from the people. Um, now everybody knows he's Peter Parker and all of that. And Civil War is one of my favorite storylines 
ever, and I'm hoping Spider-Man can do that in Captain America Civil War. Um, yeah, I mean, when I was reading this news, I mean, I was very shocked. Very, very shocked that Spider-Man will appear in the Marvel Cinematic Universe for now, and I just cannot wait. Um, I just cannot wait, and Kevin Feige, thank you, and, and also for Sony, thank you for make a good agreement for Marvel Cinematic, the real Marvel Studios, um, you know, Sony, even though The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was awful, I mean, I don't even like that film, um, the yes, rush out. You know what that means? The Amazing Spider-Man 2 doesn't exist anymore. The setup of Sinister 6 is done. It's completely done. That means they're gonna be booted and they're gonna be starting new fresh, um, new cast. Um I know the same producer, same producer, but Kevin Feige can be the new producer, so they're gonna help the creative uh, team um effort of this. Uh I just cannot wait. Uh, the new Spider-Man is coming out on July 28, 2015, which is a long wait there, but I am really, really excited. And um, I'm just glad Spider-Man is, Spider is now officially a Marvel Cinematic, cinematic Universe now. With, that's what everybody wanted, right? <laughs> that's what I wanted. With great power comes with great responsibility. Spider-Man. I had this issue. Thanks, Mom. Uh, that's the news, and it's a very big news and a very so shocking news to me. Um, it is happening. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. And comment below what you think of Spider-Man Journey the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, for me, I'm happy. I got geeked out, and I'm pretty happy. I never thought this would be happening. Um, now it is happening. So, thank you for watching, and bye.